It's about time. Times cherished with family or enjoyed with friends. Times we worked or relaxed. Times we learned or taught. Times we laughed, loved, cried or consoled. The times that made up the time of our life. Time well spent. But time is slipping away from some people. And it's about time that we did something about it. Alzheimer's disease is a fatal, progressive, mental deterioration that can occur in middle or old age due to generalized degeneration of the brain. It slowly destroys memory and thinking skills. It's the most common cause of premature senility. And 100% of those diagnosed with the disease will die from it. It is the only one of the 10 leading causes of death that cannot be currently cured, modified, or prevented. One in six women in their 60s will develop the disease. And in the last 15 years, deaths from this disease have risen 89%. That's as much as the increase in deaths from heart disease, HIV, and stroke combined. Alzheimer's is a disease waiting for the right time to strike, and that generally means once a person is 65 years old, chances dramatically increase that they'll get the disease. 15% of the 65 to 74-year-old population currently have the disease. The number jumps to 44% of Americans between 75 and 84 years old, and 38% of those over 85 suffer from Alzheimer's. Not only does Alzheimer's come with a devastating emotional cost, it is the most expensive disease in the nation. Last year, in the United States alone, treatment costs totaled $236 billion. The disease is particularly hard on women. Two thirds of those that will develop the disease are women, and they account for nine million unpaid caregivers for Alzheimer's patients. These loving caregivers provide $217 billion of unpaid care and nearly 20% had to quit their jobs to care for a loved one. By 2020, close to 7 million Americans will suffer from this disease. 4.69 million will be women. This disease will touch everyone, either directly or indirectly. It's about time to do something so we'll all remember this day. The day we decided it was about time to put an end to Alzheimer's.